ladies and gentlemen welcome to my channel tonight we're going to look at patch update 1.32 this is a beta release um this is a huge addition to the game we're basically allowed now to buy our own trailers and paint them the way that we want though there's very few paint schemes available you can still paint them um one thing i am noticing right off the bat the trailers sit too close to the front of the truck so you can see here my pipes are all tangled in the trailer um, i don't know how they're going to fix that but there i've tried a couple different trailers and they all do that so maybe it's just a combination of this truck this rig and the trailer but that's going to be a problem anyway um so now you can have trailer ownership and what does that mean for us well it means that you're going to be limiting yourself to a single kind of job <laughs> though you can own multiple different trailers and it seems like from what i can tell other drivers will also be able to use those trailers. So if you have a larger company and you've got multiple drivers, you can buy multiple trailers for those drivers. And they can use them on jobs. It seems to be about a 20% price increase for owning your own trailer. So let's say I have a, a fragile job. Um, it's going to be $39 per mile. If I have my own trailer, I'm going to make $49 per mile. So there's, like I said, about 15 to 20% increase in the amount of money you make having your own trailer that's as far as i can tell that's not solid math that's just me kind of poking through the jobs and looking to see the pricing differences between what they offer without a trailer and what they offer with a trailer um so the it seems to average about 10 to 20 percent more um so in the long run if you have a lot of trailer a lot of trucks and stuff that could add up and make you some serious money um so let's take a look at the interface if we come in here uh the escape menu you'll notice that um there are some things missing um, when you first come in. This trailer manager will be grayed out. This trailer upgrades button will be grayed out. Um, the only thing that will be available when you first come in is the trailer dealer. Um, and they give you a bunch of different options here. But just like a truck dealership, there's only two base options. Um, we don't have any fuel tankers, any chemical trailers, any heavy duty equipment trailers. We basically have a flatbed type and a box uh, tra uh, trailer type. Uh, uh, uh. Um, and so between these two, um, you can access all of the different options. Now, be aware that the double trailers are only, you, you can buy them, but you can only put them in garages that you own in Norway, Finland, and Sweden, so Scandinavia, basically. Uh, these trailers are not allowed in any other parts of Europe, so you can't use them in the southern states. You can only use them up in the top in the Scandinavian area. Um, so don't buy these unless you plan to put them in a garage there or only use them when you're up there. Um, you can also, the things that I've noticed, you, I, I have five trailers in one garage, and it's a three-truck garage. So uh, it seems like you're able to store multiple trailers of, the, of different types in one garage. Um, that's kind of cool. But let's go ahead and take a look at the configurator here, and we're going to buy a curtain side trailer. And no, I don't want to buy it yet. No, I don't want to. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. This is supposed to be educated. Uh, we're going to customize the configuration. So here is our trailer. And you can see here we have a whole host of options. This is what I was talking about. We have every single type of trailer available here. So um, there, even though you have different options in the menu there, this is where you get to them all. So there's our standard curtain side. Here's a standard dry freight trailer, like a regular box trailer like we have here in the U.S. Um, now we can pick up different kinds of axles, um, including a, a drop for carrying more weight. We have a, a tag lift. Steerable wheels, so the back wheel steers. This shows you the yellow wheel shows you which wheel steer. This has two wheels that steer. I really hate these trailers. I always end up whacking my outer back end against stuff because I when I try to turn I whack into stuff I just I'm not used to driving them I'm much more used to the standard trailer setup um cool thing here you can paint the truck or the trailer so you can you know pick a paint job and you can also any of these are customizable color wise I picked this one for mine as you saw earlier you can bring your truck in to see how the color schemes match up if you don't like the color scheme you can always use presets and change them I just made it like white to match that so now we have a matching paint scheme for my truck uh, and then we can go into the details of the truck we can add more lights along the side which i i love lights so i do uh, we can have a, a storage box over here um 
You can have just a plate to hide the, the wheel chocks or an open thing. I mean, you can kind of make it your own thing. Over here, this is your cool. I like these back spots. You can put in a fire extinguisher plastic box or a plastic box in a water tank on this side. And let's say, you know, just to, for safety reasons, we want to have an extra tire in case I get a flat. There we go over there. And on this side, we have it open. Like So we have a, you know, bound a box on this side. We can put a box on this side too, or we can... I kind of like the fact that you can have it different on either side. Um, that's kind of cool. So then that would be symmetrical. Uh, the wheels. You can upgrade. All, there's a, several different choices for trailer wheels. None of them are paintable, though. But you can upgrade those. Oh, as you can also see, you can have different nuts. You can have different hubs. And you can also have... Oh, there's three different hubs. And there's a Pacific Rim. Now, I don't know if... I'm pretty sure my tech level is high enough that I, I can get everything available now. But maybe there's more options as you go, you can definitely pick these out. I don't know why they're giving us a color option. Oh, you can paint the, what? You can paint the color of the, I didn't know you could do that. You must I probably have always been able to do that and I had no idea. Let's try this, use preset. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. <laughs> I didn't know you could do that, that's cool. Uh, you can also change out the bumper. Um, you can add little flashers or just regular light to it so people can see it. Um, they have like sticking outside markers. All these things that are available with the game. Blinkers, like chrome blinkers. You can also add two different mud flaps. So there's a cool trailer. And we're going to say confirm. We're going to buy that. It's $80,000. We're going to say purchase. So now if we've got this highlighted and you can see it's made the changes there to our custom truck. And I'm going to put it in Poland. Let's see if we can buy another one. We put like six trailers here. Yep. Now I'm interested to see um, how it, I, I haven't figured that out yet. And maybe that's something that I'll come back with later or as the game progresses uh, when they actually bring it into the game. If you go to the trailer manager, you can see different stats about the trailer. Now, I already ran um, one load in this other freighter, uh, dry freighter that I have. Um, this is the one we just bought. You can see it's a little different. This one has like higher tech stuff on it. Um, I don't, none of these other trailers have been used and I've had them sitting in the garage. I thought maybe somebody would pick one of these up and use them, but it doesn't seem like they're getting picked up. So I, I, I would think that your other drivers would, might use them. And I'm not sure what this make private thing does either. I'm imagining this locks it so that just you use it. But if you undo that, it's like available to be used by other drivers. But I, like I said, I haven't seen anybody else use them. So I don't really know what the benefit is. Now you can relocate the trailers, which is cool. So uh, you can see here, I've got five trailers in Warsaw and only two in Uppsala. So maybe we should put one of these. I'm gonna, let's see, relocate this and we can go in the map and send it to, to Bergen. Yeah, I moved the trailer to Bergen. There we go. And that's been successfully relocated to Bergen, and maybe we'll send another one there. We'll get another. We'll send a curtain cider. Send that to Bergen. Uh, why do we do this? Just because we can relocate, and we're going to send it to Bergen. I just want to see if this will trigger the other guys using it, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. So we have the trailers kind of pa passed around the map. And right now I've already got one of my trailers on the truck. I'm going to switch trailers. So we're going to go to our trailer manager and I've got the dry freighter selected and I'm just going to pick, I want to drive. Let's see who else is in Warsaw. We got a flatbed there. Looks pretty custom. I'm going to swap that out. Yep. So the selected trailer is waiting for you in garage in city Warsaw. So that means the trailer's probably there. Now we're pretty, I think we're far away from Warsaw. So let's see what happens. Did my trailer go away? Yes, it did. So I'm going to have to move my truck to Warsaw. Um, we'll do that right now. But you can see there, the, tra the trailer that I had attached disappeared. So we need to ma manage our truck and we need to move our truck. Scania Streamliner. And we're going to relocate that to Warsaw. <laughs> No, I want to travel there. Oh, you know what I think we have to do? We have to go to the uh, garage manager. That's right. And we're going to go to Warsaw, and we're going to say travel. Look, they've changed the buttons here. These look different. 
Look at these crazy guys. Oh, maybe the slots. What? Hmm. I'm confused. Maybe there's only five slots per garage. Trucks, drivers, trailers, three. It doesn't seem like there's a limit, though. Because I had five. You know what? Let's do this. I'm going to. We're going to relocate all of our trailers to Warsaw just to see if we can have more than the number. So we have one in Bergen. We're going to relocate this to Warsaw. Good. And I'll come back. To, I'm going to do all this and I'll catch up with you. Okay, so there's the proof. I've got five trucks and seven trailers in Warsaw. It worked. Um, so that's kind of cool. Um, I don't know why you want, want to have that many trailers there, but that's how many are there. So uh, that all panned out the way I thought it would. Uh, so I'm going to, let's see, did I travel there? I'm going to travel to it. Yep. So let's go there and pick up our trailer. Um, it says it's here waiting for us, so let's see. All right, despite the muckety-muck weather, we've arrived at Warsaw. Um, and lo and behold, look, my trailer is right there. Um, so, hang on, my get a first gear here. Well, my buttons are kind of messed up because I'm, I'm playing in a different profile than I normally play in, and it's got old old button settings so pick this thing up okay so now the first thing you'll notice is that we have um, in our damage menu we have damage to the trailer, we have damage to the truck, and we have damage to the cargo. So we actually can damage things separately now. <laughs> so hopefully we can whack the trailer without damaging our cargo, because, you know, sometimes that happens. Uh, but I thought I'd share that with you. So let's go ahead and look for a job. The job menu is a little bit different now. If we go into job market, you can see that we have our regular freight market, which we won't use the trailer for. Um, let's just see, for example, if I go, I'm going to go by uh, price per distance. And I did it wrong. Here we have a $78. <laughs> That's not where we are. We need to go where, just where we're located. There we go. There's some. We will not be able to get one of those, but let's say for a dry, let's look at flatbed jobs. We don't have any. We're not, we're not going to get a flatbed job. Nope, nope, and nope. So that doesn't exist. So it's hard to tell right right there, but I was doing it. When, when I was testing before, I was doing it with the dry goods. Um, like I said, look, they're about $37 a mile. With your own truck, it's about 47. So let's take a look at what we have for our cargo market. These are cargos that fit on the trailer. They pick cargos out that fit your specific trailer. You can see here we're starting at $50. They do go down, but there's many that are pretty good per mile um, deals. So you can make a little bit more money, um, just depending on what you're hauling. This one's about the same now. You just kind of got, but see the price is higher, but you got to kind of look and see what you want to do. Now we're going to take a really short drive. So I'm going to see, I'm going to see if I can find something really short here. Like even inner city would be fine. Um, these are all <laughs> long. I should probably just go by distance, right? Looks like that one to, to Ostrava is probably the shortest one. There's no inner city ones, huh? Okay. So our shortest trip is a long trip. That's not Parma. Zurich, Zvazel. Oh, it's Olstein. Or Olstein. Yeah, Olstein. Uh, that's our shortest trip. And it, I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to set that as a GPS destination. So let's take our empty trailer and um, head on over to the depot. I'm not used to driving these old this older Scania. I'm used to the R. Well, I've been driving a Mercedes in my other profile, but this truck is so quiet compared to the Mercedes. Uh, and I got used to this too. My buttons are all different on this profile, so if I mess up, it's because my my boutons are different. All right, so I'm gonna run over to the garage. I'll be right back. I'll catch you up to you when we get to the garage, and we'll get back and moving. All right, we are arriving at the location. I might have been going a little faster than this. Oh, man, this is going to screw me up. My gear shift being different. It's th totally throwing me off. 
Okay, so we have arrived. Let's go ahead and pop this open. So we're going to our cargo market, and we can see that we have our short load right there. And it's still a pretty good price per mile, though, $43 per mile. And we're going to take that Jorb and go ahead and pop over there. So it shows us where to go to load. So we're going to roll over this way. deal with this bad weather and still have a good time yep skip you can skip it which I'm not gonna do all right there we go I will say this one steers in a better way this is the steerable one and it's not uh, going out like some of the other ones do where they actually like swing out the butt out so this one I don't mind this one actually probably help help you turn better without being crazy so we're in position and I'll put the parking brake on and we'll go ahead and we're gonna press enter to start loading and you go into this loading phase here Takes about an hour to, to load the truck and turn the parking, parking brake back off. And so I'm going to go ahead and there's the load. It's on our trailer. You can see it back there. Now, right now, once again, we're very limited to the types of trailers that we can buy. And it seems like we're also limited to the types of loads. Sorry, my microphone got tangled on a laundry basket. <laughs> it's real life, folks. Um, But it's pretty cool because now, like I said, if we whack the trailer into something, it doesn't necessarily mean that the cargo will get damaged. So there's there's a little padding factor there that helps you get the cargo, like fragile cargoes, delivered without damaging them. So I'm going to go ahead and make my way to Ostrova, and we'll take this to the other end of its, you know, the bitter end, driving the last nail into the coffin of this video. Uh, but yeah, so it's a pretty cool thing. I, I think one of the things that it's going to add to the game... And like I said, like just like Outback Truckers or some of these shows that I watch on television where it's, you know, truck shows, a lot of these guys do own their own trailers. And that's part of owning a truck company is, is you know, managing your trailers, trying to find loads for the trailer that you have. If you're driving a flatbed, you're going to look for like cars, boats, furniture, pallets of stuff, things that you can transport on an open trailer. If you have a closed trailer, you're going to look for, you know, like other types of loads um, and it limits you a little bit to what you can carry, but it's a little more realistic. Like I said, I think that's kind of a cool, it's going to be a neat thing in the game. I don't see this as being a bad thing at all. I think it's going to be a pretty cool, and you don't have to do it. If you want to continue doing it the way you always did, you can continue to use the old school trailers. But, you know, in all truth and honesty, the older versions of, of the truck games by S, um, by SC, SCS software. Oh my gosh, my brain is like batting zero tonight. Um, like 18 Wheels of Steel and Heavy Haul. Those games had trailer ownership in them. You could either run freight or you could buy a trailer and you could run that, for, you know, have your, your company people run the freight for you. But you had to buy trailers and then you'd set contracts up with companies, which was really cool. You could pick a company and then set a, a contract up with them. And then your your driver would operate those contracts, and you'd oh see my my buttons are all wrong, so I'm pressing the wrong things to shift gears. And so you could uh, you know set up a, a a trucking deal with May Company, and that truck driver would go to work for them. I hope they kind of implement something like that in this game. I don't know that they will, but to me that was a cool system because it really made it like you were had you had contracts that you were building with these companies. Um, and this one, I think they may just they may just take it. I don't think those are done, but okay, thank you. Uh, but anyway, I am going to go ahead and drive there, and I will see you guys in just a minute. All right, we made the Kessel Run in 12 parsecs. So here we are. I need to find my button. There she is. So we have arrived at FCP here to deliver our load. 
Where do you need it? Wow, this looks kind of tight, but let's do it. I'm up for the challenge. So we've very near we've made it here very nearly without damaging almost anything. So for our pride. Once again, this trailer, I don't mind the way this trailer turns. You just have to be a little careful when you cut in corners, but it does pretty good, so. Whoops, I just hit my <laughs> mm. the engine off button by mistake. By mistakenly. Oop. So let's see how this ends. I just turned my wheel the wrong way because I'm a noob. No, dang it. Uh. There we go. I know by mistakenly isn't a word. I know. I'm just being silly. All right. Almost. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. And we have arrived. Job completed. Excellent. Bleep, 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 bleep. 8,000 bucks later. Current jump company job offers. Oh, this is interesting. Hmm. Make sure you have all the necessary skills to carry cargoes with this trailer. And that this trailer is permitted in the given area. You're currently seeing a limited number of cargo market offers. You may see global offers by clicking on the button below. Oh, look at that. And so we have other offers going other places. That's neat, though. That little interface there was kind of nice. Um, ooh, you can carry these. That's pretty cool. You can carry a big roll. <laughs> That's pretty neat stuff. So, anyway, it does expand the game quite a bit, even though it kind of limits it a little bit because it's making it that you can only carry certain loads. I said it. It feels a little bit more realistic. I think that's pretty neat. Uh, and then you can switch your trailers up for when you want to pull other types of loads. Cool stuff. This is neat stuff that's coming to the game. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs up always help. Be sure to subscribe. And I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, as we took a look at the, some of the changes that are coming in 1.32. I think this is very exciting. Uh, big, big, big difference here. Um, it's going to add quite a bit to the game to be able to have your own trailers. So, oh, before we go, let's trick real quick and see if our trailers got used at all. Zero percent. Hmm. So I'm not sure how to up that, but I think that will go up as people start to use the trailers. I don't know how they're going to implement that yet. Um, I don't really see a way to implement that. So um, if I can figure out more, I will. But I don't see anybody else using it aside from myself. So anyway, have a great night, guys. Thumbs up always help again. Be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time on Euro Truck Simulator. Bye.